<laughs> hey everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight for version 1.7.2 of Minecraft. In this Minecraft Mod Spotlight, we will be taking a look at the Chest Transporter Mod, which is a relatively simple mod, but it's it's an implement of Minecraft which I have wanted to see forever, and I really hope that this is taken into consideration by the Mojang team. Anyways, we have one new addition to Minecraft in this mod, and this is the Chest Transporter, which looks kind of like a scoop from... Uh, what, what is that mod? Is that the Forestry mod from Feed the Beast, I believe? It looks somewhat like a scoop, so if you're familiar with that mod, this may be a bit of nostalgia for you. But to craft the tra Chest Transporter, all you need is sticks in a formation like so, and then you get yourself one Chest Transporter. So regardless of what you have in a chest, in this case I have 64 oak plank, 64 gold ore, and, a, and an assortment of sticks, all you have to do is have the Chest Transporter in your hand, and then right click on the chest. And then you are a bit debuffed, you jump slower, you can't jump over one block and you mine slower and you can't sprint very well so yes this is a bit of an impairment and your hunger ticks down slower as if you've just eaten a pile of rotten flesh but once you have chosen the new location of your chest all you have to do is right click on the ground and look at that your debuffs will go away soon enough and your chest still has all the same contents now as you saw the chest protector the chest transporter whatever you want to call it did break after one use so the dirt Durability is the shortest I've seen of any tool ever implemented by a mod. However, it is so easy to craft that you can just do it once again. Now, a bit of a, a bit of a problem with this is you cannot do with this with Ender chests. But you know, the Ender chest, kind of the whole point of it is to have two different chests in different locations so you can move one, and then you know it's it has its stuff in another place. So I guess that kind of does work itself out. But all you have to do once again is just right click, get your D buffs so you can't jump or go very far, and then right click somewhere wherever you want it, and look at that! Boom! You've got your chest up on the hillside with all of its good loot. So that is really all for the chest transporter mod for version 1.7.2 of Minecraft. If you are interested in seeing how to install this mod, I will include an installation guide at the end of this video. It's relatively simple. All you have to do is install Forge and put your stuff in the mods folder. So yeah, thank you much. Thank you much. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much everybody for watching this Minecraft mod spotlight and I will see you all very soon. Alright everybody, welcome to the installation part of this video for the Chest Transporter mod for version 1.7.2 of Minecraft. In order to install the Chest Transporter mod, you are going to need two things. As you may have expected, the Chest Transporter mod.jar as well as a Forge version of your choice. In this case, it is 1.7.2 with a bunch of other subscore numbers to represent its version. Anyways, what you have to do first is install Minecraft Forge. To do this, just double click on this screen right here, and then you have this new mod system installed right here now you can choose to install it to your server or your client this is a SSP mod right here so I would only recommend doing this for client if you haven't already installed it as such and just make sure your directory is good to go and then you are fantastic and we'll get this other box right here in a moment that says I've already installed it and it will berate me as such all right so once you've done this all you have to do is type in percent app data percent to locate your roaming folder and I typed it in incorrectly what a noob there we go let's do that one more time there we go fantastic roaming and once we've made our way to our minecraft folder we should already have our mods folder here now if you've already installed Forge, this will be right here. However, if you have not, just make sure to run up your Minecraft once before you have the profile set and you'll be ready to roll. Now, once you already have your mods folder and all the other files that are native to Forge in your roaming folder, all you have to do is drag in your chest transport.jar and you are ready to go. That's really it. That is all you have to do. This is not one of those complicated mods where you have to do all the stuff in the .jar file. Nope, it is simple. I love it about this mod. It's such a simple mod, yet it brings about a massive change. So, once your Minecraft launcher has loaded up, make sure that you have your Forge profile file here with the most recent version of Forge that you are using. And then you are ready to go into Minecraft and use the Chest Transporter mod. It's really it at this point. All I'm going to do is show that there is a mod edition for it in the Mods tab. However, since I do use the Texture Pack Shvax Pure DD, Pure BD, BD, DD, 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 <laughs> Pure BD Craft, it does take a bit longer. So please bear with me as this does take some time. We can just look at all the nice faces. Look at all them right here. Nice faces. Anyways, once we've gotten into our main Minecraft tab right here, we have our mods tab right here introduced by Forge, and then we have our chest transporter mod right here. Now that is really all for this Minecraft mod spotlight, everybody. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.